but you could understand just how scary it was for many people when that fire broke out behind me here along Pleasant's Valley Road. Now it took three years for Cece and Regina Yin to clean up all the dead trees from their property that were lost from that fire and replant new ones and also replace what was lost. The Cherry Fire moved fast and burned up a hill above Pleasant's Valley Road yesterday, causing frazzled nerves to many residents who lived through a devastating fire there just three years ago, which burned thousands of acres in Solano and Napa counties and destroyed hundreds of homes and property. Flashback constantly. You know, when I hear, when I see anything, just... Just yesterday, there was a little vegetation fire. Which forced evacuations to area residents. Fire department coming from all around Rockville, the county, the city, they yeah. all come together. There's more local by the freeway, but it's big, it's about 10 acres. Yeah. Yeah. And it's real close to the city and close to, we're a mile, we're only a mile away. Yeah. I see big smokes. Is that scary? Was that scary oh, for man, you? I tell you. <laughs> Fortunately, firefighters held the fire to just 15 acres total. With a red flag warning going into effect tonight and through tomorrow night, those affected in the fire-prone zones know how gusty winds and low humidity can have devastating consequences. Uh, the top will burn now, burn back here. The LNU Lightning Complex fire destroyed part of the sprawling 40 acres of the Yin Ranch, including a 10,000 square foot community center. These are all the new trees. Those trees are good trees, but they were, they were burned at the lower branches. <laughs> With the whole year to clean, yeah. so last two years to rebuild. They rebuilt the community center, which is now this 18,000 square foot pavilion and includes an Asian heritage center that the Yins are gifting to the state. I don't think for us we can, you know, ever forget. And uh, it was devastating not only for us, but there are a lot of people. We decided to move ahead to restore and also to rebuild and even expand, and we want to do something. Yeah. We really are very thankful, and uh, all the support, and all the community, all the people. And again, that red flag warning kicks in in less than an hour and continues into tomorrow night. Reporting live from Vacaville tonight, covering local news that matters, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.